All right, today I'm going to be teaching you how to pour a perfect bowl of cereal. And this is my audience today. All right, let's get started. So, first of all, in order to have the perfect bowl of cereal, you must have utensils and a bowl. Utensils and bowl. So, we have here four bowls. First of all, you're to go. Now, this is good when you have to run to class, but it's not ideal because the spoon's so tiny. Second of all, we have this bowl. This is very good. This is a very good bowl. Some people love their bowls very large, like a friend of mine named Danae. And this is her size bowl. However, for some, the spoon might be a little too big. Not ideal. Then we have the perfect to go because it has a handle. That's great, you don't have to use two hands. And then the most perfect of them all with a small spoon and a big spoon. You always wanna use the big spoon, bigger bites. Then you have to have cereal. Now, for this, you can't have just a subpar cereal. You have to have your favorite cereal, and we each have our own favorite cereal. And mine today is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yesterday was Oreo O's, and the day before, Fruit Loops. So you decide on that. So you open the box and then the bag, and you take your perfect bowl, and you begin to pour. until it's the perfect amount, right before you hit the top. Third, you have to have milk. Without milk, this is not complete. You take the milk, 2% always, unless you're like another friend who only drinks almond milk. You open the top. And you pour just enough to where it's not too soggy, but just right. Then, all right, Slegel, this is your turn. Come here and give us an example of eating the perfect bowl of cereal. I get to eat the whole bowl. Not the whole bowl. <laughs> Thank you to my audience and my Amen. wonderful example. Amen. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs>